Rich Program was founded in 1980 up north, Yankee, Philly. And since then, uh, we arrived here in Columbia, South Carolina in 2000. At that time, we had the Akuru Legacy Program. We were then given the opportunity to move here. And we have been here in Pacific for 18 years. And the garden has been outside for 10 years. Why the wooden guns? It has nothing to do with gang-related situations. It's a memorial tree. It is to recognize those lives we have lost due to gunfire, period. And it's outrageous now, I'm saying it. It's outrageous. My son was Amon Rice that was the basketball player from Lower Richland High School. In 2018, he was shot and killed. Um, he fought for two days and he died on Mother's Day. This has been a long, hard road. I'm gonna continue fighting. I'm gonna continue pushing for kids. I'm gonna continue being there for the mothers. Unfortunately, a lot of mothers that come to me and say, I'm sorry what happened to your son. Now I'm having to tell them I'm sorry what happened to them. Innocent bystanders, people just in, they said the wrong place at the wrong time, but I think it's the people with the guns that be in the wrong place at the wrong time, because they're the ones taking the lives, and, and it's just, it's, it's sad, so. Right now, what I do for uh, my career, I work with uh, Lexington County, and also I have my own business where I talk about uh, gun violence, and I train people in the education on firearms, you know? So, uh, a gun is not a bad thing, it's the person that gets a hold to it. So, it's an I'm big on just educating everybody about it. Mama G is a great advocate, not just for the well-being of the children and my generation, but also having boys like myself be exposed to higher art and higher learnings. Um, I recently graduated from USC, Columbia, South Carolina. My major was opera classical music performance, which is, <laughs> I, I heard the size, I heard the ah, which is not often expected from someone that looks like me, but that's something that we like to promote in the Rich program, that it doesn't matter where you're from, how you look like, that you are versatile, you are diverse, and you can be anything that you put your mind. Last time I was here, well, last week we were doing the, the video for, for PR for to promote this, and I met a parent some months back at a community event, and talked about her losing her child. And then connecting that parent to Dr. Miller, and then seeing that parent now being more vocal and wanting to share her story, but advocate for others. This is what it's all about. Not just one day, because as we all know, we experienced it as a community just a few weeks ago. Gun violence doesn't take a day off. And its impacts don't just stop after someone is gone. And they don't just impact, if we're talking about the city of Columbia, or Richland County, Lexington County. As I was at home going services for the last young man, not even two weeks ago, I went back to my office and I was talking to a parent that lives in the northeast side in the summit. And she says, Mr. Porter, so call me Trevon. She says, okay, Trevon, I got two sons and they're both devastated. And I asked her, I said, well, is today not a good day? What, what happened? And, and it wasn't, it didn't click to me Although I just left a home going service for someone here in the city of Columbia or in our area. And she said the young, young man was middle school friends. They all played on the same football team. So that shows you that it's not just one area. When we talk about violence, it impacts us all. And not just that family, it impacts us all as a community. So that's what we all have to keep in mind. And Dr. Miller, Mama G, Whatever you decide to call her affectionately, she's done this work for decades, decades. As I read and I was looking at the, the bio of her and the Rich program, it started, she said, as the Legacy Series. But then she corrected me a couple minutes ago when I talked about the Legacy Series, and I thank you for doing that, because she's got a point. I said she was the part of, well, she is the Legacy Series. She quickly said, no, this is the Legacy. The mentors that have come through this program, that are now giving back to this program, giving back to young people, giving back to the communities, that's the legacy of this program. 